Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I think I know exactly what's in here and I think you guys are in for a treat today. I have no idea how I did the thumbnail because <laughs> I'll be creating it after I'm done with this video, but I'm going to guess it was pretty enticing. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find a link for my Patreon right down in the description. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's get into this box. This was sent by Aiden. And I recognize that name. Watch me be wrong about what's in here. And I'm like, oh, wow. It's a, wow. <laughs> I think I, I think I know. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Hang on, hang on. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, all right, good. Aiden, he just, he sent me his information. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. When people send me their information with the knife, it's just fantastic. Makes it real easy to, what am I doing? Here we go. So this is a Protec, but this is a special Protec. A very special Protec. In fact, this is one that I have, I, I actually own a variant of this knife, but what you're about to see is uh, quite, quite different. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a Strider SNG. Are you guys ready? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, hang on. Hang on, I gotta clean this this off real quick here, so you guys can get the full effect of that finish. Uh, I should have pulled the trigger on this when I had the chance. God bless it! Look at this. All right, so this is a uh, compound ground SNG, which uh, honestly it just floored me that Protec decided to do this. Aluminum scales. Uh, and we've got, I believe it's 154 cm steel. I think it's, it doesn't really matter. Um, all of a sudden, I, I just remember Protec coming out with this thing where they're like, we're doing special versions of this with a compound mirror finish blade. And I was like, what? So uh, for those of you drooling over this and thinking, oh my gosh, where can I buy that? I want to buy it right now. Hang on. I, I th These are very scarce. Uh, they pop up periodically. I will link them if I can, or at least old listings so that you guys can set up for notifications because I'm going to guess more of these will come. Uh, and they're very expensive, much more expensive than the standard SNG. Why? Because putting a finish like that on a blade takes a lot. Of, it takes some extra work. Also, the, the grind is much more complicated. We have a much thinner grind here, compound, and then we have this uh, flat grind up here. That is very, very, very close to a true mirror. In fact, I'm wondering if any lines that I'm seeing are actually just... Good Lord. That is ridiculous. What a beautiful, that is just insane. Oh my gosh, I should, I got so close to pulling the trigger on one. One of these um, popped up at a, uh, at a retailer um, and I looked at it and thought, <laughs> I should buy that. I should buy that right now. And I didn't because I was holding out for something else. And now that I'm handling this, so my SNG has a pearl inlay button as well, but it's nowhere near as vibrant as that. Boy, that is just beautiful. This is this is the coolest uh, uh, Protec that I've I've ever handled. I, I've always thought that the Protec SNG Auto was my favorite Protec alongside maybe the Rock Eye, uh, but this is the coolest version of any Protec that I've ever seen. I, now, don't get me wrong, I like the really crazy Ultra you know, custom stuff, but th this is just beyond cool. And check this out. These new ones have Torx head screws. Mine, uh, mine is a uh, hex head. These are numbered as well. Number three of this run. Oh, that's cool. So I got number three here. And then mine, my personal one is, uh, let me just get it out. <laughs> I got it in the vault case from, uh, I think it's the BRS company. Um, this mine is uh, quite a bit older, and it's from they, they did a run in titanium. And see my 
pearl button. It's quite a bit different. And then this is just a tumbled blade, right? Oh boy, need to have these two side by side. But you can see here the finish versus the, here's the, the uh, tumbled and here's the uh, mirror polished blade. God, that is just beautiful. And these, this is substantially lighter than my full titanium version. Substantially lighter. Other than that, though, you can see the difference in the screws. Yeah. There's number two of 40. And then as they just, they don't say how many on this, this one here. They just say number, number three. Oh gosh, guys. Uh, you know, I've, uh, obviously I've already reviewed the SNG. Cause yeah, you can go back and watch my review of this. Spoiler alert. I think it's excellent. Um, still going to do an overview on this guy. Uh, I really hope ProTech keeps doing this. I've seen them drop mirror polished versions, mirror polished and compound versions of other knives. I think this is cool. I, me personally, would I spend an extra couple hundred for something like that? Yeah. Uh, you, what, what's the advantage, you know, for a user? Well, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of arguments that could be made for or against compound blades, right? You're doing some up close work and you need the thinner edge, right? And then you're doing some heavier cutting and you need this edge. I don't know. I mean, utilitarian benefits, right? You, it means hair splitting arguments, this or that, whatever. The mirror polishing on the blade definitely does add stainless qualities though. For most people, uh, I mean, in terms of like what's going to draw people to buy it, it's going to be the enthusiast element, right? There's no hiding that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, yeah, pay, you know, a couple of people, you can spend your money how you want and for what reasons you want. But from my perspective, the reason that I would pick this up, the reason that I would pay another couple hundred on top of what they generally ask for these is because I like how that looks. <laughs> I like how that looks a lot. It's beautiful. Very, very cool. So yeah, yeah, I think this is pretty awesome. Oh man, that is excellent. Uh, anyways, guys, I think, uh, we'll save the rest of the gushing for the, um, the overview when I do that. Boy, Aiden, thank you so much for sending this. I've been trying to get one of these on the channel for a while now. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's epic unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.